Adobe software. Here I am at Campus Party in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I like this particular event because it brings together a wide range of different people who are interested in computers and using computers in different ways. The free software people that are here get a chance to interact with the people that are not using free software to be able to explain our philosophy and how we feel that free software will actually benefit Brazil. Free software allows Brazil to generate their own software industry. They don't have to just sell other people's software that's developed in other countries. They can create the software here in Brazil and therefore create very high paying jobs that would advance software. It also helps to make Brazil independent from other countries in creating this software. For example, what would happen if the United States was to create an embargo against Brazil and therefore would not, Microsoft would not be able to sell any software to Brazil? This would be a disaster. By using free software, Brazil can create its own infrastructure so that they can protect themselves from such an event as that happening in the future. And also, it allows people, like I said before, to have high-paying jobs. Not just the jobs of installing the software or being assistance administrator for software, but actually producing their own software themselves and putting it into things like microwave ovens or TV sets. You need to be able to allow your people to see how the software is written and to be able to train themselves in writing that software. Now, the other thing is that Brazil has different needs. You speak Portuguese. A lot of the world, you know, in software speaks English. Uh, a lot of companies may support 50 different languages. You know, Ubuntu Linux supports 200 different languages. But more importantly, if your language is not supported, then you can make the decision about whether you want to support it yourself or whether you want to live with one of the other languages that is supported. So these are all reasons why I think that free software is important to Brazil and why Campus Party as, as a place for people to come together is important to free software. I have a dream that I share with Nicolas Negroponte of One Laptop Per Child. His dream is to connect every child to the internet to allow them to communicate. My dream is to connect every person to the internet, whether they be a child or an adult. My nightmare is that we will continue along the same path that we've been going for the first one billion computers. That instead of only using 10 watts of power, they will use 100 watts of power or 200 watts of power. My nightmare is that all of the people will not be connected to the internet in a way that allows them to communicate. My nightmare is that people will continue to buy closed source software and not be able to change the software to meet their needs. And my nightmare is that people will not be able to have choice to be able to choose the software that goes on their cell phone, to be able to choose the vendor that they want for their cell phone, to be able to use their cell phone as a, continue, as a complete computer. These are parts of my nightmare. But I think that my daydream, with, or my dream, of having low-cost computing is actually going to play out instead of the nightmare. So they went to an open source developer and he said, could you duplicate this software using free software? And so you see, it is not the cost of the software that makes the difference. Então, não é o software que faz a diferença. It is the value of the software. And in this particular case, if only one woman's life was saved by that software had been written, then that software is infinitely valuable. Então não é o custo do software que faz a diferença, é o valor do software. E se a vida de uma mulher foi salva, o custo já está pago. E that work was done here in São Paulo, Brazil, at the University of São Paulo. Esse trabalho foi feito aqui, São Paulo, Brasil, na USP.
With that, I'd like to thank you very much. If there's any questions, I can try and take them. Assim, agradece muito e abre para perguntas.